Hi, I'm Ryan Alt. I'm a physicist, and this is How to Measure Parts Per Million in Chemistry. Now, parts per million are usually, they're, they're corresponded with the amount of something and something else. So you could look at the amount of solution, and you could look at the amount of solute inside of it. For instance, we can look at sodium chloride dissolved inside of water. Say we have one gram of NaCl, table salt, and it's dissolved in 100 grams of pure H2O. We can use an equation, parts per million equation, and it's equal to the mass of the solute, which is sodium chloride, so M of NaCl, divided by the mass of the solution, which is the total mass. So it's 100 grams of H2O plus 1 gram of NC, NaCl. And we find that it's equal to 1 gram over 101 grams. Now the one thing I left out is you're actually multiplying it by 1 million. So times 1 million times 1 million and we find in this example that sodium chloride has 1 over 101 parts per million. I'm Ryan Alt. This is How to Measure Parts Per Million in Chemistry.